What's going on guys, Ponyline here. I've had a lot of recent requests asking me about making a tutorial for Flying Flames in Battlefield 1. Now, I'm not the best when it comes to advanced tutorials, so I'm going to make this a very entry level one. There will be a lot of new players in Battlefield 1, and I figured this would be the best way to help a lot of those players that are coming over to the franchise and want to know how to fly a plane. Before you ever try to fly a plane in an actual public server, I suggest that you go and find an empty server first and then fly around until you get used to the mechanics of the plane. This will help save your team and you a lot of hassle and it will be the best way for you to go ahead and learn how to fly. Regardless of which type of plane you choose to fly, there are some very important flight mechanics that you should know to be able to excel in the battlefield. The very first one that I recommend is choosing whether you want to fly between first or third person. I myself prefer to fly in third person and this is because it gives me a wider range of what's going on around me. I'm able to see what's going on in the battlefield and I'm also able to aim at my target without a lot of the clutter in front of me that you might get in first person. A second very important mechanic you should know when flying is how to use your free look. First off you have to be in first person to be able to use this and I suggest you find out what button or what key it is in your keyboard in order to utilize this. When you're using free look you're not able to turn your plane so make sure that you're flying in a trajectory where you're not going to crash. When using free look, it allows you to look around you in almost a 360 degree angle to be able to spot targets and see where the enemy is. The best way to utilize free look is to go high into the sky. This allows you to be able to encompass more of what's going on in the battlefield and allows you a longer time to be able to engage your target on the ground. The last flight mechanic I want to go ahead and talk about is the self repair function. Unlike in Battlefield 3 or Battlefield 4, where your plane would automatically repair itself to full health, in this game, you need to repair your own plane back to full health. It's very important to note that if you ever get any kind of mobility disable or any part of your plane is damaged and it's actually causing your plane to wobble around, if you repair yourself one time, it will allow yourself to get that mobility disable off and then you're able to fly away. The best way to go ahead and fix yourself is to fly up into the sky. It is important to note that if you take any kind of fire, whether it be small arms fire from a plane, any kind of fire whatsoever, it will automatically stop your repair function. The button or the key that will be needed to go ahead and repair your plane will show up on your screen as you're taking damage. So just make sure you're taking note of your health and when it's needed, go ahead and fix your plane. With basic flight mechanics covered, the next important topic is to go into the different types of planes and your target selection that you should have for each of these planes. The first plane, which is the lightest and most maneuverable of the planes, and also seems to be the fastest, is the fighter plane. Now, in regards to the loadouts, I'm not going to go into all the specifics of the different types of loadouts you can choose. The best way to go about this is to go into the customize screen and go over each of the loadouts and I'll give you a description of what all the loadouts do, as well as what buttons do what functions for the plane. In regards to the fighter plane, it is a very solo-esque type of a plane. Uh, you're responsible as a pilot to go ahead and engage air first. Once there's no other air targets in the air, then you shouldn't be able to engage infantry and vehicles. The attack plane is a completely different scenario because it's a two-seater plane. You have a gunner on your back that is capable of watching your six. They're also able to shoot forward and hit your targets that you're shooting at. This plane is much more capable of engaging both air and the ground, but it is not very good at engaging fighter planes. So if you're fighting other attack planes or bombers, that is okay. Otherwise, I would let your gunner try to do all the damage possible behind you. The best way to utilize this plane is to have a gunner that you are actually able to talk to, and that way you can work together. The third and final type of plane is the bomber plane. This is a three-seater plane. It's much slower. It can take a lot more damage, but at the same time, it's only meant to engage ground targets, whether it be ground vehicles or whether it be infantry. You're very exposed and it's very necessary to have gunners that you're actually able to talk to because you're gonna to need to make sure that you work together to be able to keep planes off your back and planes that are coming from the front. Now, as I stated before, guys, the best way to go ahead and learn how to fly is to just go into empty server. Choose the different types of planes that you want to fly with and get used to how they work. Get used to the mechanics, and that way when you go into a public server, you're going to be very useful to your team. I hope you found this information useful. Like I said, guys, this is a very entry-level tutorial. Let me know if you'd like more videos like this in the future, and please let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Have a good one, guys.